when our skin peels off, we'll end this life with a kiss. Are you paying attention in there? Okay. My name is Marcos Armitaje. Cynthia Wagensberg. Peter Mack. Chris Burks. Larry Reinhardt. Liza. Christina. I am a photographer. For longer than I've been a photographer, I've been a writer. What I'm most interested in doing is suggesting a narrative. Yes, I paint uh, portraits. I like to paint people uh, because I'm interested in people. And um, also it's a good way to uh, to approach them. This is a painting I did several years back and it's a lot of people's favorites. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I like the way the color really came out on it. I like to put people who would normally be in a situation in a situation. Like, so that's why it's a little girl and that's why she has a chainsaw that's probably bigger than she is. It's very interesting what I do. I use heat and I pass heat through a thin slice of crystal. With our face turns blue, I've been drawing all my life. Um, I, I was a professional illustrator. I'm definitely a storyteller. I, I, I love sitting back and just watching how people react with their environments. Since I was a little kid, I've been obsessed with miniatures. I like to look at things in a humorous way. So I make little miniature people engage in like everyday situations. This, this particular piece is about the potential chaos that, that we have when when society cages animals that they think are safe to cage. I was trying to capture her sorrow because uh, she, she's a 90-year-old woman and uh, she's been through a lot in this life. And uh, lately she had some uh, uh, death in her family and she was really thinking about that. And Tisha Miri. Greg Stogner. Tina Dilly. Vicky. The work to lock in. Is there a good show tonight here? Gabriela Sanchez. Cameron Gusino. I'm doing a live demonstration. And these are this is watercolors on UPO. I'm doing four pieces at one time because I can't do anything from start to finish due to the drying process. I don't use a hair dryer. I have to let it air dry. So these pieces take a while to dry before I can come back and work on them. And I work in layers and layers and layers and layers. Sometimes I'll overwork a piece and I'll have to start over again. So as all artists, we all tend to do that. I usually use a traditional medium called sumi um, And I make these abstract shapes that have concrete images of animals in them. From far away, it looks like an abstract painting, but only the people that get close to it can sort of see the details. My piece is titled The Iranian Man because he is a gentleman from Iran. I used to draw a lot, and um, after some time, as any other artist, you start to experiment with different mediums. I found that oils really are forgiving, and they allow me to experiment. I go through stages, three or four stages, uh, I, I, I try to keep the process open as long as possible. I don't have much of a plan in the beginning. All my subject matter is out of my mind. I don't work directly from anything in nature. I was inspired by the look on this parrot's face, basically. I took a few photos of this parrot of the zoo, and when I was going through the pictures, I realized I was just, there was just something about him. I just decided to um, paint, you know, that, that part that inspired me. That, I ended up with those small feet. And this is the first portrait I've, I did of myself. And the reason they're a pair is there is because it's symbolic of what I actually paint. I paint still lives. They're actually my hand. They're uh, cast resin. And I actually dipped my hand in there. And uh, so they're perfect replicas of my hands with all the scarring and everything else. I just wanted to make like a landscape, but not a like, realistic landscape. I used to do very like uh, controlled uh, type of paintings, like, you know, so with lots of details. But here, I, I can't really control the drips, so I just let it go. This is my oil painting. I love the human body and the expression of movement and expression of uh, emotions. I chose to do it in a woman's mouth because there's a lot of different roles that specifically women take on. The mouth is has a lot of symbolism. It's used to uh, express our intellect and our civility. 
but it also has its own duality, just like the home and can be very savage and sexualized. This is a portrait of my horse, which is a brown horse, and I actually added a little artistic license to this. Everything I paint is usually animal-based. When something happens in the paint, I want to develop that, and that's what that's probably my style. I just wait to see what the medium does, and I develop that, and it's like doodling. A lot of it's the mediums doing the work for me. I'm just let, I'm letting it do its thing. I, put a spell on you. I started playing music when my senior year in high school. I snagged my mom's guitar out of the closet and started learning how to play it with an easy Beatles guitar tablature book. I would teach myself in the middle of the night and then she would find me and say, hey, stop using my guitar. What I'm trying to say is just something from my heart to someone else's heart. I'm not counting fans or trying to deliver any like grand message because I don't see myself as a grand like person. As usual, you guys are great. Everything about the, the, the art here is amazing. The way you treat the artists is amazing. Um, the reception is amazing. The food, the, the music, everything's wonderful here. I love you guys. You're fabulous. You're wonderful to work with. And I just hope you sell everything and make a million dollars off of me. The girl playing the guitar, the, the snacks, the people, it's, I think it's awesome. As I'm looking around, the artwork is incredible. And um, Linnea, you know, has been more than accommodating, and so it's been a really nice experience for me.